So thank you. Let's applaud for him. Now, um, at this juncture, uh, we are going to have our next presenter, uh, Mr. Jairus. We're going to talk to you on you're going to blood yourself. How do you need to do your professional curriculum vitae and a resume? So um, without much further ado, let's applaud for Mr. Jairus as he takes us through a session. Uh, Maria Joni. Salama, me naito naito lemba J. Jairas Job J. Natokana Nishot for me, Jairas. So a little story myself nearly Limaza Shule to our seven Nika Nkaitok Fanya BBIT J. Quat Sick one of his, so I didn't go. Nikanda Kazi in the Nairobi. I worked for Tia Nikisoma, Kamaliza, and Kafanya Diploma HR. Kamaliza and Kafanya degree. In Gaja, I want I had registered to do accounts. So in Kakosa, Malipo, and Kamuan Fanya HR. So it was not by mistake. So I did HR and in Fimi Kamuan Toka Kazi in the I joined another employer, Naiva Supermarkets. So I worked for Naiva Supermarkets 2015, 16, 17, 18, I was fired <laughs> on medical grounds. So I struggle now, Kidogo, Kawashitaki, Kasumbuana. So I would do the case. I was in the house for two years, for two months after I put as a job. So, but because I had done HR, I was desperate. Sana. So I went to one of my friends, I just want to volunteer. I had an opportunity. I had an opportunity. So, and by then I had some groups for WhatsApp. Then I used to post jobs. I had six WhatsApp groups. So I used to post jobs there. So, I uh, had because I had seen a problem somewhere, because let me deal with this problem. Problem is job seekers or coordination is So they, they would call me on an MBJ. We need uh, kindly uh, refer us to someone who can do us our CVs. So I used to refer them to another company, but now when you are going to come and find HR, so there's a problem and this is an opportunity for me now to take it up. So I started my own company in 2018, December, in Nikaita JCVs. So there are 12 Nasharakia, three years. And uh, of course, I, I think uh, we've done 17,000 CVs. Uh, and I was a group 30. Now, from company, now we are a HR consulting company. We do recruitment, we do trainings, we do performance management, all kila kitu ya HR tunafanya. Kuna watu wanafanya HR hapa, sivo? Yeah, so we do everything related to HR. Office. From my law house, ukuja hapo, utatupata. Ukitafta online, utatafta to JAYCVS. Sixth floor, room 615. So uh, I'm a CV specialist. That is my that's my passion. Uh, I do CVs for all professions. Ukweni askari, ukweni software engineer, ukweni mwalimu, ukweni lecturer, ukweni daktari. So far, nimeandika watu wanne. So, I mean, so uh, I'll, I'll take your, the shortest time possible to talk about CVs and cover letters. Eh? So, you know what I'm going to do CV? 
but mnajua ile imeandikwa nationality and sex ndio yeah nationality sex marriage marital status hivyo uh, that is hiyo cv na kuanga si mzuri so i'll tell you about the what is needed in a, a cv na how to do it so cv yako especially for fresh graduate cv yako kwa short and precise especially if you have no any experience cv yako kwa one page wewe uko nyumbani kanisani hakuna hakuna role una play ukienda kanisa tu wewe ni kuka ukuja shule pia ni hivyo so cv yako ina five kwa one page but if you are a leader kama student leader nimeona your cv can be more than one page in agenda two pages but a good cv should not exceed three pages hata kama umefanya kazi miaka 40 not exceed three pages so the first part your cv another scroll to the first part your cv is a university zote i think i've been uh, i've been in this is the eighth university na na train I've been in almost all universities in Nairobi, Mount Kenya, Kemu, JKUAT, ZTEC, Daystar, Strathmore. To University of Nairobi nilikuwa huko last week. Then uh, I also do mentorships za uh, students of high school. We have another group called the Think Tank. We do mentorships za high school students. I've also other partners partners wenye na partner nao wengi sana so uh, the next page i think you all saw this thing did you see this he uh, uh, nini chief justice chief justice mliona eh? yeah you saw this there were jobs that were advertised last month there were five six jobs but we'll put applications to 60000 miliona so it happened and uh, what happened something funny your job will be advertised wakapeana one week uliona will be advertised the same same job wakapeana one week so this the kuna kitu ilfanya wa readvertise your job na wakapeana one week walikuwa na 60000 applicants but they readvertise the same same positions wakapeana another week your people could apply I'll tell you the reason. So, and the next. Next, next. Next. Now, a CV is just a, your marketing tool. Please not see new uh new document in a So, your document in a sema kwamba J ako na hizi qualifications na skills zake ni hizi so when we are hiring him we are considering that document before tumuone but i've seen some some employers look at the wanaangalia sura ya mtu wanasema huyu ndio mtu tunataka ndio the jobs that need such such qualifications sivyo jobs za marketing eh na wale wanasema they tell you we want a, a beautiful lady hivyo <laughs> jobs za marketing eh especially sales and marketing you know so a, a cv should have uh, a cv should have these parts eh? the first part is the name and the contact details so the name should be your official names then if you have the address the postal address always include it then uh, contact details you have your name your telephone number and email shida inatokea hapa mali kwa email kunaalo anajiandika nice baby cute girl those are not emails to be used on a cv make sure cv yako kama unaitwa jairus walemba j walemba at least j walemba 254 such things equal kwa at least part of your official names is on your email address make sure you have that then you have the career summary of the professional summary the career summary gives a brief history of gives a brief view of who you want to uh, of of your aspirations in terms of uh, your career profession uh, career progression assuming when you come to finance you have no experience to talk about your interest in finance and uh, maybe your skills in uh, qualitative quantitative skills and uh, 
analytical skills and uh, interest in joining an organization where you can learn, you can apply your theoretical skills in to grow the financial goals of a company. Then uh, the, third, the third part is the core skills or competences. The core skills and competences, these are the technical skills for, for any position. And the technical skills differ from one position to another, one profession to another. Come when you to accountant, come when you accountant, core skills are as a core things to do with the, you can talk about accounts receivables and payables, payroll processing, financial reporting. If you are a HR profession, you can talk about recruitment and selection, policy formulation, training and development, performance management, when you talk procurement, you can talk about order processing, uh, supplier, uh, supplier assessment, uh, market research, vendor relations. So every profession, you can call skills. Like, and the core skills mostly are gotten from the key res the responsibilities of that position. If you're handling a responsibility for, uh, if you are a customer scarce representative, then you talk about one of your responsibilities handling customer complaints. So customer Complaint handling is a core skill for a customer service profession. So always talk about, when you're talking about core skill, technical skills, usweke soft skills, soft skills, I'm a team player, good communication skills, those are soft skills. Soft skills will be similar in all, all other professions, but technical skills, killer tech, profession is gonna technical skills, okay? Come on, you when in us, you can technical skills are going as a things to attend to emergencies, emergencies, uh, things to do with the medical administration, things to do with the maternal health, is on technical skills, them too, the nursing. So, every industry is going to technical skills. So, when you are doing a CV, make sure you get the technical skills from the responsibilities. Then, the fourth part is the professional and academic qualifications. So academic qualification, like what you're doing now, you're an academic. Come on, accountant, you're doing a course in a CPA course, it, it becomes now a professional course. Come on, into a procurement, you're doing SIPs, I'm a KISIM course, that's a professional course. So academic course, what you're doing, at bachelor's, Bachelor of Science, in uh, Battle of Science and uh, HR, that's a professional acad an academic course. Uh, you can also add your high school education. But professional courses like for HR, kuna, HR, Najo Kuna CHRP. Yeah? Yeah. A CHRP is a professional call for human resource professionals. KISIM, yeah, procurement professionals, CPA, SCCA, accountants. So every profession is gonna professional skills. So if you don't have a professional course, you only do come academic qualifications. Then the fourth part is the work experience. I've seen some people do work experience when I'm there, Jew, Dr. Mkachini. Aitawa Isha, yo CV yako in Azenda Tekwe, pages 15. Kama ya Magoha. So always make sure you start with the most recent. What gives you an interview or what gives you uh, an invitation to an interview is your current job. Maraming, especially come up on experience, it will not interview, most recent job. Utapata, you'll get that most of the recruiters, I want a time ya kuangalia, mimi ni recruiter, nikipata CV yako ikona five pages, suwezi kudanganya, sitangalia. Panda imaanza pale juna sex, nationality, I'll not look at it. Because in our day, when we, adver when we advertise for a position, like an accountant, an accountant position, you can advertise, say, within three hours, I will have more than 500 applications. And you only need one person. So your CV must be very short and precise and up, on to, the point, uh, up to the point. So the work experience, uh, I'm sure most of you do not have work experience. Uh, because of uh, developing skills like the interpersonal skills, those are the skills that are needed now. Interpersonal skills, communication skills, those soft skills. 
You can only gain them by engaging in something. You might not be a leader in school, but back at home or in the community, you are doing something. Maybe you are leading a, a, a group in, uh, you are leading a community group, group your youth, Fanya Usafi. That is something you can write on your CV if you don't have experience. So I, what I tend to believe is that at least you have something you can write on your CV as experience. So make sure, come out some, for a leader, for a student leader, when you're doing the work experience part, you start with the date. I've been a student leader from uh, June 2019 to date, or June 2019 to April 2020. Then you write the organization, Kisi University, position, student leader. Then the overall purpose. There's an overall purpose for that position. The overall purpose is something that summarizes overall what you do. Uh, for example, for me, my overall purpose is to uh, doing CVs. But now, from the overall purpose, overall purpose in our summary too, we study responsibilities, Zako Kwanza, Kabisa. But overall purpose, you understand the responsibilities will come. Any of the responsibilities, it falls under the overall purpose. So from there, you can now mention your responsibilities. But of late, we are not encouraging people to mention responsibilities. We want you to mention your achievements. So achievements, I think uh, what will achievements do? Some of you might think achievement is kitukubwa. Some of the things, if a student leader is someone who has taken part in organizing this event, who are successful, that is an achievement. So achievements is kitukubwa. Or if you've organized even an event back at home or in church where pale mali unaenda kuomba, Naikawa successful, that's an achievement you should talk about. Or if you've gotten any award during your schooling or back at home, that's an achievement that you have to put on your CV. So achievement is anything that saves time or saves money for an organization. Like a customer service personnel can, to a customer service and as a uh, achievement ya can kwamba, I'll manage to solve complaints in time. Solving complaints in time will to cost. I'm about to increase business. Kama ni ni same ni customer service ana fanya kwa same kwa bookshop or something like a, a hospital. When you solve custom comp customer complaints in time, ina fanya ngo na retain our customers. And by retaining the customers, it ensures that the business ina grow. So. If you have, let's say, three, four roles, you can mention the first role, the most recent, ikifato na iyo ingine, alafu na yatatu. But for the first role, I'll show you an example of a CV I did for a student from JQuart. Then uh, referees. Referees is another area we, we, we always mess also. Wengi na jom taandika din, na lecturer, Professor Flani. And you know, who kwae onge na professor kwa shule? But because if yako memweka. So the professor doesn't know you. We've had people, unapigia referee omtu simu, they don't remember you. Referee na semo yo simjui. So, uh, kama recruiter ntafanya nini? Ntaona huko serious, ndio? So that is... That is, it's also a way to say So always make sure, I know you interact mostly with the school, school leaders, school uh, student leaders. You talk to them, but you also make sure when you're applying for a job, then uh, the chance has gone. So referees, make sure if if you are in personal relationship with the, maybe your lecturer, you can you can have him as your referee. But always come and referee. 
weka referral your most recent organization umeenda attachment uh, Kenya Airways weka referral your Kenya Airways kama your first referral the most immediate, the immediate supervisor akwe the first referral so when the immediate supervisor is ni rais sana mtu kuona it shows seriousness and also, it also shows that mlikuwa uh, na relationship mzuri na ule mtu and also make sure when you are doing when you are adding your referee ni mtu mko mtu anaweza recommend kuna time tumefanyisha interview candidate napigia referee simu unaweka loudspeaker the boss says look jana ni mbaya sana he was an accountant eh? so unapoteza job kama tuko hapo and the same same time tunaambia the, 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 the guy ebu ejaribu mpigie muulize vile anaendelea and akimongelesha anamongelesha vizuri so referees are people wanaweza kutomea job and most of late employers wanafanya background checks kabisa so uh, the next the next document inajita cover letter cover letter na application letter and same yeah and an idea tofauti cover letter na application letter now one thing that uh, i've not mentioned is that when you are doing applications as assuming when when you accountant umefanya finance ama umefanya accounts kama unafanya una apply position ya customer service should you use the same cv yeah you can you can always customize the cv to fit the job you are applying for so the same way a cover letter is an application letter that is customized to fit the job application letter ni ile mnabalisha tu title I know most of most of us that's what we do. Unabalish title ulikuwa hadi unasahau organization ume, ume, ume apply customer service officer unasahau ulikuwa apply na finance KQ. Sasa unatuma hiyo nini na robot and you have KQ on the on the application letter. So an a cover letter is always customized to fit the job description and um, the first part of a cover letter you could introduce about how you fit for how you fit that position the second part the second paragraph ya cover letter cover letter iko na paragraph 3 the first una introduce why you why you think you fit that position the second part ya cover letter the second paragraph you talk about you talk about you relate the jd to your qualifications JD ni job description una relate to, to you relate the JD to the job description the third part una tumia JD the attributes part you talk about your attributes ama attributes ama isle key skills zenye wanataka kwa hiyo job you talk about them in uh, uh, paragraph 3 so then a salutation and everything So I think you understand about salutation ya cover letter na uh, application letter. Salutation jina then uh, the date iko on your right. Then uh, you are the address on on the left. Ref, reference address of madam reference then the position you are the reference position you are applying for. Assuming you are applying for an internship position, a finance intern position, usiandike application for a finance intern position, ref finance intern. So you don't have to talk about application for a finance intern position. Then pale mwisho, you acknowledge thank you for your time for reviewing my application for this position. Then uh, unamalizia na jina yako pale chini, you are faithfully or you are sincerely please our document cover now this is a cv for alquas student leader jquat 
amefanya analytical chem. So I just want to read the summary. summary The summary is very much on point. Kulingana na ile job yenye anataka. A well presented intelligent and highly focused individual who is keen on a career in the manufacturing industry. He possesses a track record of delivering outstanding service, leading teams, as well as recognizing and developing opportunities. So leading teams, Nimonyesha leading teams, he was a leader. So the leadership skills come in. Eagerly seeking an attachment or entry level in a pro-learning environment to gain much needed practical experience. An ambitious analytical first learner, team player, with good interpersonal skills and a desire to drive and drive to prosper in all assigned tasks. Uh, when I did this CV na Kavaleta, I a job company na Cosmos. Cosmos Pharmaceuticals. Eh? And uh, he was a student leader and appear through us to Limsaidia. They have struck a deal na Cosmos Pharmaceuticals. So, Attaches from J Quatu and Achikuliwa Cosmos. He was a, so Ako Cosmos, yeah. But still, now I'm a strike now deal. Attaches from J Quatu and Apata. Attachment Cosmos. So, these are the areas of expertise. Teremka Kidogo Kwanza, Union of the Nyonyesh of the Marriage Koizo. So, he was a life skills coordinator. So, what happens when you are doing a CV to kupataize technical skills or the core skills? These are the responsibilities. Eh? But now from the responsibilities, I talked about overall purpose of the guy. The overall purpose is, is responsible for implementing and co coordinating and evaluating all trainings for the students. Eh? So now that overall purpose in a summarize kazi yake, kazi nyanafanya. But now under the job, what is doing, we have this. So the skills, the responsibilities, okay? every responsibility na kwanga na technical skill. So needs assessment, conduct students needs assessment through surveys and interviews and identify skills or knowledge gaps that need to be addressed. So that skill that we get there is the needs assessment skill as a technical skill. Attend seminars and meetings to learn new training methods and techniques and use the knowledge to prepare and coordinate future training sessions. So the, the skill gets this training method, methodologies. Then assesses the impact of each implemented training program, program impact assessment. So every responsibility is on a, a different skill. So when you are doing a CV, always make sure the first position, we use the first position to get those skills. Is the first position you not to get the skills that you can areas of expertise. These skills now are what we we used to we are, we used to hear to kama areas of expertise or the core skills. So uh, make sure when you are doing a CV, this teramka kidogo is the second position. When you are doing a CV second. Now, Society of Chemists, J. Quart, Chairperson, eh? from this, the, first, the first position, Akujakwana skill, your leadership. But from this position, this leadership skills come in now. So you don't have to now to uh, sublet them. Say, you have mentioned the skills now. So as you mentioned them, you make sure now you get the skill from each position now when you work at Paleju. And there are positions that have more than one skill. Uh, there, are, there are skills that have more than one responsibility. So as a part of responsibilities, but they have one skill. So it's not a problem about that. So the second position you just do, you just write it, uh, Evo. Then the third position, uh, other positions now held. So because uh, I'm a hold position swing in the school, and we didn't want the CV to go to to go to four pages. Now you can just mention the other positions in your hold. 
the first position, the other positions in your hall. Then you also have some certifications. So the certifications come here. The certifications come here. No, I'm going certifications mingi sana. So you always you also mention them. Then the referees. The referees now. So I think uh, for a CV, you've seen uh, what needs to be done for a CV. So you can open the second document. Now, this is a cover letter. Cover letter, I said it should be in three paragraphs. So Deti Kopale Pandeuko. Mabati, uh, I was just doing it as a nil to details and me. So Mabati, but it should be Mabati, the name of the company. Then you have the address. If you have the Kamokon address, you put it. Then DSO Madam reference intern. So you can talk about uh, you can talk about QA intern or uh, HR intern. So Ramka. So the first paragraph, this is the first paragraph of the, the first paragraph of the cover letter. This, is a let, this letter serves an application for an attachment or internship role in your organization. With proven interest in manufacturing environments, my academic qualifications and skills parallel your requirements for this role. For several years, I've focused my career path and academic pursuits of a Bachelor's of Science Analytical Chemistry program at Nemoknyata University. And this opportunity will be an ideal, will be ideal to grow my technical skills in this field. So the first paragraph, Inaonyesha Kwamba, passion ya umutuniku, is interested in working in a manufacturing setup. So that shows the recruiter Kwamba, this person is interested in working in a manufacturing setup. It's not just I mean, I just too much to blindly interest in work in a manufacturing setup because mostly that is where now they can apply the, their skills, the analytical chem skills. Uh, so the, the second paragraph, because this person does not have any experience in relation to what he's asking for, now you talk about his interest and what he really needs to learn from that position. As a self-motivated individual with a positive attitude, I'm thrilled at the prospect of accelerating my technical capabilities and transformative leadership skills with future focused courses and development programs, broadening my horizons by working on highly integrated teams across the globe and collaborating with people of diverse backgrounds, both professionally, culturally, and bringing the, out the best in myself with continuous investment in well, my well-being and career development. So he's talking about his interest in that organization. Then the third paragraph is talking about attributes Zake. Attributes sometimes, uh, we refer to them as strengths. Your attributes might also be your strengths. So I exercise high attention to detail, ensuring accuracy and consistency in my performance collaborative teamwork and on-time completion of my tasks. So is someone who is, uh, is someone who is detail-oriented and uh, is more of, is a good time manager from that statement. I offer communication, interpersonal integrity, planning, and organizational abilities. My goal is to gain a launch pad into a career in the manufacturing field and play a pivotal, pivotal role in achieving the organizational goals by offering outstanding services. I will welcome the opportunity to, prive, to, to meet and provide credence for my claims. So, interest here can be a manufacturing company. So the recruiter will more likely consider him than So, uh, the third paragraph, this is how a typical cover letter should be for someone who is seeking an internship position. Uh, for someone with years of experience still, I think uh, 
someone with several years of experience, I think I can I can show you one. Let me show you one. Can you see that? Now, this is someone who was applying for a position as a CEO, Chief Executive Officer. So now, what happens now? You can get a cover letter. You use to have to study the job description. Then, for uh, job description, you can place in a place in a place in a place required competences. So, for this one, they needed someone with experience, and she had served. Uh, she had served for one year as a. She had served for two years as a an acting CEO of Engineers Board of Kenya. So, with years of success in running a professional body, the the requirement in the advert was experience in running a professional body. So, when you start that statement, experience in running a professional body ikokwayo ikokwayo require your statement. I'm ready to join Stella HR Solutions as a CEO. I have a track record of identifying not identifying growth opportunities, working with stake and working with the stakeholders. I'm seeking to leverage my exceptional leadership, personal personnel management, and operations management abilities in a new challenge. So another thing that was in the JD Kwa, leadership, personnel management, and operations management. That was in the, it was in the advert. So you use some of the words from the advert. I work, I work well with an established teams to spearhead new markets. So spearheading new markets was also in the JD. As a highly organized individual, I'm well versed in providing leadership in the development of programs and as assuring quality program and organizational stability through development and implementation of standards and controls systems and just so this part from development of programs to systems and procedures was in the jd then regular evaluation and performance management system providing strategic policy direction for improved service and maintaining effective collaboration and partnership with organs of the government and government agencies county governments international organization private sector non Non, I think non-governmental organizations. Yeah, non-governmental organizations and other stakeholders. So that part, stakeholder management part was in the JD also. So you make sure, you make sure Kwamba, that part because it's a JD, you have it in the in the in the J in the cover letter. Moreover, I'm a professional proficient in managing the organizational budget and ensuring that its funds are properly expended and accounted for. So there was a part of uh, budget management and ensuring that uh, money is well spent. So for a senior role like this one, you talk about your achievements in the last paragraph. In my 90 days acting role at the Institution of Engineers of Kenya, I contracted a 60 days membership drive that led to a 13.8% membership growth and have been actively involved in formulation and implementation of strategic plan, human social policies and procedures. So what happens, achievements, make sure that you can quantify the achievements. Uksem will increase sales, now what percentage? It is always good. It is always good to say that you increased sales with this percentage. So when you talk about an increase in sales or an achievement that's related to the work you are doing, always make sure that you are by that. So uh, I think questions if you have any, I can talk something to dog about. Questions we'll discuss more. Uh, thanks a lot.